Next week, Dane and Harper delve into the challenges of their new initiative, with a particular focus on 17-year-old Perry Hayes, fresh out of juvie. Despite his troubled past, Perry has never been the instigator of the chaos he's been caught up in. Tane sees something in him, a spark that makes him perfect for the program. Later that day, the first session kicks off with Perry, alongside three other recruits, Brandon, Ryan, and Tom. Almost immediately, Brandon asserts himself as the class troublemaker, more interested in the perks of free gym access and flirting with Harper than in Tane's serious introductions. But Tane's instincts about Perry prove spot on. They make an immediate connection, bonded by their shared Maori heritage and perhaps something deeper, an understanding of what it's like to fight against the odds. The group heads outside for their first lessons in self-defense, where Tane emphasizes the core principles of martial arts, discipline and respect. Yet, Brandon seems intent on proving he has neither, quickly goading Ryan into a confrontation. The tension escalates as Tane and Harper attempt to de-escalate the situation. In the heat of the moment, Brandon takes a wild swing at Ryan, who skillfully dodges the blow, only for Harper to catch the full force of the punch right in the face. The session ends abruptly, leaving Tane shaken and doubting the viability of the program. Later, as he reflects on the chaos, Alf offers him some seasoned advice, you need to learn from this, mate. Don't let one bad session bring you down. Move forward. Harper, nursing her injury, insists that the incident only highlights how much the boys need someone like Tane to guide them. Just when Tane is at his lowest, Perry stays behind. The young man, who had remained quiet during the commotion, approaches Tane with a surprising admission, his peers were out of line. Do you really think I can learn all this self-defense stuff? Perry asks, vulnerability creeping into his voice. Tane's response is firm but encouraging, you will if you're willing to do the work. Perry opens up about his fear of the future. He's nearing 18, and another run-in with the law won't mean a stint in juvie, it'll mean prison. Dane seizes the moment to drive home the purpose of the program, the skills we teach here are to end fights, not start them. The point is to make sure you never end up in that situation again. The conversation evolves into something deeper as they spend the rest of the afternoon together. When Tane later introduces Perry to Molly at the board shop, it's clear that a bond has been forged. Alf, observing from a distance, nods in approval. You only need to change one life to make it all worthwhile, Alf reminds him, planting a seed of hope in Tane's mind. The question remains, with Tane as his mentor, can Perry truly turn his life around? The stakes have never been higher, and the clock is ticking for the troubled teen.